Hello chicken people, I'm Brian with the Hobby Farm Guys and next to me is Steve. And we can't forget to mention our pal Eric, who's working behind the scenes. More and more, people are exploring the idea of producing their own chicken feed. Whether it's a desire to be more self-sufficient, a cost-saving measure, or an effort to include or exclude certain ingredients, people are looking for options to feed their flock. But to grow quickly, produce lots of eggs, and remain healthy, chickens have nutritional needs that must be met. Producing your own feed involves more than just mixing together a couple of bulk grains that you found on sale on the internet. So today, we'll review the basic nutrients your chickens need and what options you have to choose from to supply those nutrients. And we'll even give you an easy six ingredient feed recipe you can start with. Don't go away, making your own chicken feed is up next. For those looking to feed their chickens without purchasing commercial feed or supplements, it can be a daunting task. The internet is filled with homemade recipes, but are they safe? Are the ingredients readily available? Does the recipe provide all the nutrients my chickens need to stay healthy and productive? With a worldwide audience and diverse opinions, values, and resources, it's hard to create a single chicken feed recipe. Our goal today is to arm you with information. What nutrients do chickens need and in what amounts? Then, what are my options for providing those nutrients? That way, you can create a feed that contains those ingredients that are easy to source where you live and avoid those that are hard to find or that you don't wish to include. Also, keep in mind that a chicken's nutritional needs changes depending upon age, time of year, and desired production. Chicks and broilers require higher protein. Chickens will appreciate more carbs in the winter that aren't necessarily needed in the summer. But once you understand your chicken's nutritional needs, you can select the right ingredients and the right ratios to meet those needs. In addition to water, there are really five key nutrients that your chickens need. The first is carbohydrates, which help give your chickens plenty of energy, keeping them warm in the winter and providing a boost in energy needed for egg laying. The second nutrient they require is fats. Fats are another energy source which your chickens use to stay healthy and active, and they also help your chickens better absorb many vitamins. Next is protein. Protein's a big one as it's used to help build and repair muscles or grow your chicken. Chicks up to six weeks require 20 to 22 percent protein, seven weeks to layers need a feed with 14 to 16 percent, and laying hens require 15 to 18 percent protein. Nutrient number four is vitamins. Chickens require vitamins B1, B12, A, D, E, and K. And number five is minerals. Calcium and phosphorus, well, they're essential for good egg production. All chickens need magnesium, manganese, iron, copper, iodine, zinc, and cobalt to remain healthy and productive. When formulating your feed, the list of possible ingredients is nearly endless. As mentioned earlier, some people are unable to source a particular ingredient or choose not to include that in their ration due to personal reasons. Yeah. So we'll look at the basic ingredients you see in many chicken feeds and explain why you may want to or wish not to include them in your recipe. We'll then give you a simple six ingredient feed that contains ingredients easy to source, not overly pricey, and combine to form an excellent feed for chickens. And we'll start with corn. Corn is affordable and can be found anywhere, and chickens love it. Corn is low in protein, vitamins, and minerals, but it's packed with carbs and also contains many fats. It's easy to digest and low in fiber. Used extensively in chicken feed, I tend to raise the percentage of corn during the winter when temperatures are low, but scale back and replace about half the corn in the summertime with wheat. And speaking of wheat, let's tackle that next. Wheat also supplies chickens with carbs, but also packs a respectable amount of protein and many amino acids. Hard red wheat tends to have the highest protein of the wheats, so if you're only buying one type, go with hard red. If you can find it, mixing hard red with soft white provides excellent balance. Next up, soybeans. Often included in many commercial feeds due to their high protein content and great amino acid profile, soybeans or soybean meal has the highest lysine digestibility of any of the commonly available protein sources. Soybeans do contain an anti-nutritional factor when raw, and so they have to be roasted or steamed prior to feeding them to chickens. Many people opt to avoid soy products, however. Yeah. 
And when soy is avoided, the crop that often takes its place is field peas. Relatively common and therefore easy to source, peas, like soybeans, are very high in protein and they're also rich in potassium, vitamins, and other minerals. Next, we have oats. Oats are rich in protein, B vitamins, calcium, and fiber. And similar to oats is barley. In fact, you can basically interchange the two based upon what's available to you. Barley is not only a source of carbs, but has more minerals than corn. But it's also higher in fiber and can be more difficult to digest. As such, it's generally recommended that oats and barley make up no more than 20% of your ration. Black oil sunflower seeds are another high-protein food that chickens absolutely adore. Sunflower seeds pack not only high protein levels, but the high oil content makes feathers shine. Add to that the fact that they're a source of B vitamins, vitamin E, magnesium, and copper, and it's no wonder they're a popular addition to chicken feed. Millet is another option that's rich in iron and amino acids. Sesame seeds are high in protein, and flax seeds are also high in protein. B vitamins, minerals, and omega-3 amino acids. So those are the primary grains and legumes included in many chicken feed recipes. Other common ingredients are aragonite, made from ground oyster shells to provide calcium. Brewer's yeast as a source of B vitamins and protein. Kelp or kelp meal, which is a good source of essential vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and salt that your chickens need. And fish meal is an excellent source of protein, vitamins, and minerals. Some recipes will also include herbs like garlic powder, cinnamon, cayenne, or oregano. One final note before we share the recipe. you want to grind your feed to prevent your chickens from simply picking out their favorite parts and ignoring the rest. Depending on how much you have to do, there are some really great automatic grinders out there, down to some simple hand-operated ones. If you plan on producing your own feed, you should probably budget in a grinder, as well as some storage containers. If you're ready to make your own chicken feed, the internet is full of recipes. You can find recipes that are GMO-free, no soy, no fish, or just about any special blend you want. Some of them can be elaborate with over a dozen ingredients, many of which have to be ordered and shipped. We've chosen to share a simple recipe with only six ingredients. Yeah, as a busy hobby farmer with a full-time job, I just don't have the time or quite frankly the desire uh, or financial resources to create those elaborate mixes. This basic six ingredient recipe is packed full of the nutrients your birds need. The ingredients are also easy to source, which is essential for rural homesteads and hobby farms. This recipe assumes that your flock spends at least a little time foraging and has access to grit and oyster shell. We'll give you the recipe in percentages. That way you can make as big or as small a batch as you'd like. The recipe is based on weight, so a scale is useful. We did include one commercial product, a poultry NutriBalancer. Getting all the vitamins and minerals right can be tricky. Using a pre-made nutrient mix eliminates the guesswork and helps ensure proper nutrition. Right. And it can be ordered online in multiple sizes based upon what you need. Again, if you want to skip it, you can substitute things like kelp and fish meal to help boost your nutrient profile, but you'll need to do a little more work to make sure you're getting the right balance. Now to make your own feed, mix 30% corn and 30% wheat. You'll want a total of 60%. In summer, we like about 45% wheat and 15% corn and go to 30-30 in the winter, but you can do whatever works best for you. The remaining ingredients are 20% peas, 10% oats, 8% black oil sunflower seeds, and 2% poultry nutrient balancer. Keep in mind, if you want to swap out barley for oats because it's easier for you to source, go ahead. Try and avoid having any one grain be too prevalent. This formulation is for backyard flock of egg layers that has access to free ranging from time to time. If confined, you may want to add mealworms or black soldier fly larvae to your chicken's diet. Or if you're raising broilers, you need to up the protein. The recipe that we shared should yield a protein level around 17%, and you want to be higher than that for most broilers. What is your experience making your own feed? What do you have good luck with, and what do you avoid? Share your wisdom in the comments, and we'll all get smarter together. And speaking of getting smarter, we've done some other videos related to this topic that might be right up your alley if you're looking to plan a diet for your birds. Mm -hmm. We'll put links to them in the description. Ensuring proper nutrition for your chickens. This video delves deeper into the nutritional needs of chicken and explains why chickens need nutrients and what foods provide them. And 12 easy to grow crops for chickens. 
This video reviews 12 easy to raise crops to plant that you can feed your chickens year round. Next, we have planting a healthy pasture for chickens and other poultry. In that video, we discuss what to plant and what not to plant to provide an optimal pasture for chickens and other poultry to free range. And next one is seven herbs for happy and healthy chickens. And this video reviews several herbs that are beneficial for your chickens. We hope you'll check these videos out. We appreciate you watching. If you found the video helpful, how about a thumbs up? Or even better, why not subscribe to the channel? Until next time, keep on hobby farming, everyone.